Hello, and welcome to Impact's guided video on how to register a student for homeschooling. Firstly, visit our website at www.impact.co.za. Preferably, use Google Chrome for this process. This link will direct you to our Impact homepage. You will notice that the screen is split in half. On the left, you have Impact Homeschooling, and on the right, you have Impact Online Schooling. For homeschooling, please proceed to click the left side of the screen. You can minimize the OptiBot pop-up unless you prefer to chat to one of our consultants. You will notice that at the bottom of the page, you have an option to switch to online schooling. Please do not click that option if you are registering for homeschooling. You can close that pop-up. Now, on the top right-hand corner of the page, if you are using a computer or laptop, you will see the option to register now. Please click that option. After clicking, it will take you to our registration page. Please ensure you have selected the correct year. Then proceed to click on the grade of your choice. If you are looking for other grades, please click Next, and it will scroll to the next page of the grade options. Once you have selected the grade and academic year, click Next Step. Step 2 gives you two options, full grade or individual subject selection. Please click full grade option if you would like the learner to have all the compulsory subjects included. Should you rather prefer the learner to only complete a selected number of subjects, please click the individual subject selection. Please note that this option is not recommended as the learner needs to pass all compulsory subjects to successfully complete the grade. Rather, Contact us should you be uncertain. Once a selection has been made, please click Next Step. Step 3 allows you to choose a preferred language. Please note that you can change the language on a specific subject from the next step. Once a language has been selected, click Next Step. Step 4 allows you to select the subjects of your choice, starting off with the language subjects. Please select two language choices and in doing so, please check that you select the right language, home language or additional language. After a valid selection is made, you now move on to the compulsory subjects. For grade R to 9, these subjects are automatically selected for you if you selected the full grade option on step 2, and you may only change the preferred language. For grade 10 to 12, you will have the option to select a mathematics subject and a minimum of three elective subjects. Lastly, you have the option to add supplementary products. Please note that these subjects or products are not compulsory. Once a valid selection has been made, please click Next Step. Step 5 allows you to customize your package and select the material of your choice. Should you prefer an assessments only package, please deselect all the book's material. Please note that should you prefer to select material for grade R to 9, you need to at least take learning material and facilitator guides for your selection to be valid. For grade 10 to grade 12, you have the option to select just the learning material without the facilitator guides. Also, please note that we do not offer ebook learning material for grades R to 3. Should you select ebooks, please ensure that you read the device and software requirements. Once you have made a valid selection, please click Next Step. Step 6 allows you to select the delivery method. Please note that we only deliver to South Africa and Namibia. You can select the option to collect your material from our warehouse in Centurion. Or you can have your material delivered to your preferred address. The delivery address will depend on where your delivery location is. Should you be based in a major city like Johannesburg or Cape Town, please select the correct option accordingly. Your address will be validated in a step later in the application. Once a selection has been made, click Next Step. Step 7 allows you to preview your order based on what was selected in the previous steps. Please ensure that you are pleased with the selections made before proceeding. Please note that the delivery address fee may change based on your location. Once you are pleased with your selection, please click Next Step.
Step 8 allows you to select the payment method of your choice. We offer three payment methods. Full payment, which includes a 10% discount. Monthly EFT option, which requires a 40% deposit. And debit order payment, which requires a 25% deposit amount. With monthly EFT and debit order, the remaining amount will be divided into monthly installments with the last installment due in October. Should you select the debit order payment option, please note that the deposit amount has to be paid via EFT or bank deposit and you will be required to authorize a debit check mandate before the registration may be finalized. Another step will be required later in the application process where you submit your banking details as the account holder. Those banking details have to match the account holder's details. Please note that you may print an estimated quote at the bottom of the screen by clicking the option provided. Once a selection has been made, click Next Step. Step 9 requires you to log in. If you already have an account on My.Impact as an account holder, you may submit your details and proceed to log in. If you do not have an account created, please click Register at the bottom of the screen. You will then be able to register a new user. Once this has been done accordingly, you will be redirected back to your application on the shop and automatically be signed in. Click Next Step to proceed. Step 10 allows you to submit your account holder details. Please start by selecting the correct form of identification. You can select either South African ID or passport or other. Then please select the title of your choice. Please proceed in entering your name, surname, cell number, email address, preferred communication method and a simple answer of where exactly you heard about IMPAC. For the physical address, please use the Google search field provided for the process to be simplified and autofilled. However, you may enter these details manually if you cannot pick up the relevant address. Lastly, you will be required to submit an ID document as an account holder. If the account holder is a company, a company letter will also be required. Once all mandatory fields are completed, please click Next Step. Step 11 requires guardian details. The same fields will need to be filled in the same as what was done with the account holder. If the account holder and the guardian is the same individual, you may click the option provided at the top so that the account holder details are captured automatically. Once this has been done, please click Next Step. Step 12 requires the learner details. Please start by selecting the correct form of identification. You can select either South African ID or passport or other. Then, please select the correct title for the learner. Then please fill in all the fields. This includes name, surname, date of birth, if the ID number was not used above, home language, ethnicity and religion. Kindly note that you can select do not wish to specify for ethnicity and religion. For the physical address, should it be the same as the account holder, you can click account holder above the physical address and it will autofill the fields with the same address. If the address is different, kindly proceed by submitting the correct address, preferably using the Google search field provided. For the tutor center linking, kindly enter the H number after clicking the blue tab labeled no tutor linking. Please ensure that you upload the mandatory documents, more specifically the ID document and relevant report cards required for grade 10 to grade 12. Once all fields are completed, click Next Step. Step 13 will be required if you selected the delivery option instead of collection. Please keep in mind that the delivery address may be different to your physical address. Kindly use the Google search field provided because GPS coordinates will be required. The first part of the delivery address required is the street validation. The second part is the suburb or town that is required for validation. Please ensure that you select the correct suburb if you are based in a city. This validation will determine the delivery fee. 
Once all fields are filled in accordingly, please click Next Step. Step 14 consists of the terms and conditions of the contractual agreement you have with IMPACT. Please ensure that you understand the agreement and once you are satisfied, you can click the tick box stating that you agree to the terms and conditions. Below that, you have another checkbox which you may tick if you would like to receive information on special offers throughout the year. Once you have at least clicked the terms and conditions box, you may proceed to the next step. The last step is the review. You will see a congratulations message. This basically means you have reached the end of the registration, but the application has not yet been submitted. To submit the application, you need to click next step. Please be patient while the screen is loading. You will then see a message pop up stating, all done. You will also be provided with a student number for the learner. There you have it. Registration with IMPACT made easy for you. Should you have any difficulties with any of the steps above, kindly contact our sales team for a telephonic registration. Thank you.